polygamy. Polygamy is the practice or custom of having more than one wife or husband at the same time. Polygamy has been practiced by many cultures throughout history. Although Christians inherited some biblical texts that describe numerous examples of polygamy among devotees to God, most Christian groups have historically rejected the practice of polygamy and have upheld monogamy alone as normative. Nevertheless, some Christians groups in different periods have practiced, or currently do practice, polygamy. Some Christians actively debate whether the New Testament or Christian ethics allows or forbids polygamy and there are several Christian views on the Old Covenant. This debate focuses almost exclusively on polygyny, one man having more than one wife, and not polyandry, one woman having more than one husband. Polygamy is found in the Old Testament and over 40 important figures had more than one wife, such as Esau though being considered an enemy of Jacob, Genesis 26 34 28 6 9, Elkanah, 1 Samuel 1 1 8, and Solomon, 1 Kings 11 1 3. Multiple marriage occurred on several occasions on the will of man in the case of famine, widowhood, or female infertility. The practice of Levirate marriage obligated a man whose brother has left a widow without heir to marry her. Duke 25 5-10, Abraham was told he would have a son but did not wait for the promise and had a son with his servant. God fulfilled his promise anyway and Isaac was born. Deuteronomy 17:17 17, 17 states that the king shall not have many wives or horses, or accumulate large amounts of silver and gold. An ordinary family. I had five wives by the time I was 29 years old or so they would have you believe. It's not that complicated. We love each other. It's just normal times five. It's a bigger house. Right. Everybody the Williams pizza. family pizza. joins the growing okay, list of go. polygamists in prime time, from big love to sister wives. New Testament Bible. Three passages in the pastoral epistles, 1 Timothy 3-2, 1 Timothy 3-12 and Titus 1-6 state that church leaders should be the husband of one wife. This has been read by some Christian sects as a prohibition of polygamy. Others argue that polygamy is allowed, but not for church leaders. Still others argue that the passage only prevents church leaders from divorcing their first wives. In his 1990 book Walter Locke argues that it simply prevents marital unfaithfulness 15, since no Christian, whether an overseer or not, would have been allowed to practice polygamy. 16. In 1 Corinthians 7 Paul the Apostle states that a man is to have his own wife and a woman is to have her own husband. Now concerning the matters about which you wrote, it is good for a man not to have sexual relations with a woman. But because of the temptation to sexual immorality, each man should have his own wife and each woman should have her own husband. 3 The husband should give to his wife her conjugal rights, and likewise the wife should give to her husband his conjugal rights. 4. For the wife does not have authority over her own body, but the husband does. Likewise the husband does not have authority over his own body, but the wife does. 5. Do not deprive one another, except perhaps by agreement for a limited time, that you may devote yourselves to prayer, but then come together again, so that Satan may not tempt you because of your lack of self-control. 1 Corinthians 7 Catholic Church The Council of Trent condemns polygamy, if any one saith, that it is lawful for Christians to have several wives at the same time, and that this is not prohibited by any divine law, let him be anathema. The Catechism forbids polygamy as a grave offense against marriage and contrary to the original plan of God, and equal dignity of human beings. Nevertheless,